Okay, I'm back. There's no more interruptions. Hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna use sleep powder. I'm gonna put it to sleep. Mega evolutions in this game are so... <clears throat> like, they're so broken. This, that's the best way I can describe a lot of the Mega Evolutions, just broken. Like, you know Pinter gets a Mega Evolution, you know what his Mega Evolutions ability is? Aerial 8. Converts all normal type moves into flying type moves, and since it becomes bug flying, it can come in and fuck shit up. You can give this thing return, stab return, and it learns like Mega Horn, it, it's, it's just too good. It's too good. Yeah, paid for and I gotta level up. It's pretty nice. Okay. That's that go to level 30, which is nice. Um a choke, really. Of all the things that I could run across. It's a machoke. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, they, they have like a variety of Pokemon in the Kalos region. Old school, I mean, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. They have some Gen 4 and they have some Gen 5. They, they put a little bit of everything in the Kalos region with the um, new Pokemon. I'm like, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty interesting. You're, so, so imagine what Pokemon, aw, uh, so imagine what Pokemon Z is going to do for us. <sighs> I cannot wait to see what Pokemon Z is going to do. No. Oh, no, I I have X, yeah, Pokemon X. <laughs> oh man, but Pokemon Z. I hope they. I just hope they do something about like the availability of some previous Pokemon. They increase the amount of Pokemon you can beat in the wild, or some other thing that um like. The move tutors, like they increase the Pokemon's move pool, which is really nice. Yeah, they probably have talking while driving and avoiding hazards is just yeah. It's <laughs> these little kids say, "What? No way, you beat me!" Uh, yeah, because I'm a fucking Pokemon trainer. I'm a badass one. Okay, so. Or he can't handle the truth. Uh-oh. I remember when I first saw that on the movie, I'm like, whoa, that is epic as hell. He's like, I know what I've done. Maybe you view it as an ugly abomination. But we just want the truth. You can't handle the truth! I'm like, damn! <laughs> that was... Like, damn! <laughs> I'm like, that was cool as hell. Okay, so I'm gonna put my... I named my ghost still type Yamato. Like, the sword from Devil May Cry. One of the swords. I named it Yamato. Of all... <laughs> It's actually Virgil's sword, more specifically. <sighs> That's just nuts. Okay, so I'm just gonna sword dance, because I'm fighting a Heracross. You know, I actually like Heracross, because Her Heracross was when... was a sign that Game Freak is actually gonna start making good bug-type Pokemon. I can't be... Oh, that would be nice, but I can't, because I'm in a Pokemon battle. Uh, but yeah, Heracross was like, in second generation, it was easily one of the best Pokemon in the game. It was bulky, it could take a hit, it had the best bug type move in the game, and it won some pretty good fighting type moves, it had amazing typing. And yeah, Heracross was the shit. And what's easy, it was somewhat easier to obtain too, because all you had to do was headbutt a tree. And bam, you have a possibility of getting it. And with that possibility, you get a badass Pokemon. No if, ands, or buts. Oh, I know that made a deal. You know, yeah. Possible chance of. Right, that was pretty unique. And I like how, like, 
You can get a pine coal from it, and then it evolves in the fortress and the bug steel type. Easily one of the best types in, typings in the game, and it learns spikes, and spikes was one of the best moves in the game, because you could fuck over so many Pokemon and just make them easier to kill, and yeah, you know where I'm going with this. It was just beast. See, this... You know, and then in Generation 3, oh my gosh, they expanded the they expanded the amount of stuff. Oh, you knocked out my amulet coin. It doesn't even matter, because I'm already in battle, bitch. <clears throat> I mean, it's only, yeah, that would be fucking bogus, but it's, oh, it's only in effect until the battle is over, which is really fucking nice. I'm just going to send out my Mucha Lucha, because it's going to use a fighting type move. But it used Whirlwind on me, predicting the switch. And he sent out my Estelle. That was like the worst play this thing could have done because now my Estelle is going to use Return. It's going to fuck everything up. <clears throat> and he's just going to keep using Whirlwind like a little bitch. Isn't that nice? And he dragged out my Mucha Lucha again, so I'm just going to finish this damn thing off. You see, because Whirlwind has like negative one priority. So, yeah. Ooh, my, my Pokemon gained over 1,000 experience. That's that's what I call nice. Okay, he's gonna send Sock back out. This thing has Sturdy though, so um, it's gonna live an Aerial Ace. Well, one of its abilities is Sturdy. I don't see has the other ability. Nope, it, low sweep. It's gonna lower my speed. <clears throat> ling 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 ling. Aerial Ace. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, um... Now, now, I like how Generation 3 gave us the most Pokemon in the game. That was pretty fucking good. I like that a lot. <clears throat> that was pretty damn cool for on Game Freak's part. That was really damn cool. They gave us... Because, like, Generation 2 gave us the ability to hold items, but most of the items were useless. Except for Leftovers, which was the best item in the game. And, um, yeah, that, you get 6% of your health back, or 1 16th of your health back, should I say. Yeah, and it prevented so much shit. Alright, I'm gonna actually heal, because this skater girl is just skating around, and I'm gonna just totally... Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't fucking know why they do that. Just use the super potion. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Who just? Who's is? Just who do you think you are stopping me while I'm skating? Uh, I'm in a gym, bitch. What the hell do you think I'm here for? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Meditate. Meditate. Dang, excuse me for my language, but I mean, come on now. This is a gym, so act like it, dummy. Alright, use Mock Punch. Well, you know, and it's too bad because, no. Well, the gym does have skating ramps. The main theme of the gym is skating. So, like, I can't really argue with that. It's pretty unique as gyms go. What the, the gym that I like the most is the Psychic Gym. Oh my gosh, the Psychic Gym. That gym is so, it's just so good. It, it blew my mind. I'm like, I've never seen a, a gym that has this much love put into it. Is it like a or keyboard? No. It's just one room. You step on this pedal, and then the room shatters, and it gets replaced by all these, this, this, this maze-like, layout and it's green blue yellow and you're it's, it's really freaking cool i'm like dang it's it's really cool i like it a lot like it a lot yes oh it's time for the gym it's time for the gym battle all right and i didn't save either so <laughs> yep and she says time for lady corona's karina's big appearance Bitch, don't yourself. Um, what Pokemon should I use first? Because, like, you know, I'm just gonna, 
I'm just gonna stick with my Mozilla because I wanted to get experience. <laughs> my SCP-071. Okay, I'm gonna save now. I love how they, they the save mechanic on this game is so much faster. Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing around with you, you know? You're rolling in the the ISILs, right? Or some shit like that. I already know you're you're a strong trainer, so let's get this show on the road. See, she just she kept the chit chat short. And she's just like, let's do it right now. You know, that's pretty cool. You know? Lucario's Mega Evolution is so good. Like, okay, you know you know the ability da adaptability, right? It doubles stab moves, so it does double damage. Close Combat has base power 120, right? And Mega Lucario's ability is adaptability. So, what basically happens is... <clears throat> When it uses close combat, it has base power of 220. Like, I'm not kidding you. That is fucking broken as hell. That is super duper good for no reason. And she sent out her machoke. I'm gonna use Psybeam. <laughs> See, but this thing is bulky. It, 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 it gets three hit killed by it, and once it hits itself in confusion, then it gets two hit killed. Oh, it gets two hit killed. <laughs> Too bad. I win. Yep. This thing is just gaining experience. Just, <laughs> okay, she's gonna send out her, her lucha. Um... Should I stay in because you know what? Um, I don't care. If, I don't care if this thing gets KO'd because. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> it used flying press, which is a fighting flying type move, and it's really interesting, actually. Um. Okay. What am I gonna use? Um. I'm just gonna go out to yeah. I'm gonna go out to Yamato because Yamato, a ghost steel type. People were expecting a ghost steel type in Generation Five too because ghost steel type is amazing defensive typey. But since they nerfed the steel type to be weak against um or not to be weak against but to take normal damage from dark and steel, it's still really damn good. But it's not gonna be broken because you'd only have a weakness to ground and fire. And I forgot, like, how they use items and shit like that. So I just use Shadow Sneak on a Halucha that. Oh, whatever. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hone claws. I'm just gonna sword dance. See, and this thing's just boosting up because it can't really do much. I'm just gonna use Shadow Claw now. Yeah? Um, every now and then, I got a critical hit, yay. She used the hyper potion again. Oh, item spammers, oh gosh. <laughs> I'm the top of my class because I spam items and my Pokemon's hurt. And she's going to keep using home claws. She's at like max, she's at like plus six right now. So, <clears throat> just cut, cut, just die, please die. You got any more items? Please kill it. Please kill it. Nice. Because I'm about to say. Yeah. <laughs> How could it be? She gave me $10,000 for winning. Oh, I've been defeated. Alack, LA. Lady Karina gave a terrible display. This is it. I must give up my title and admit that your strength far exceeds... Just teasing, but here's your badge, boy. He'll be rolling, and you'll be rolling in um, soon. That skate badge looks awesome. <clears throat> yeah, you've got the rumble. I got a rumble badge. It says, then you can trade Pokemon up to level 50 with your friends, and they'll be ready to roll. They'll love you, all right. And you'll be able to roll over waves using the the team HM Surf even outside of battle. And here, why don't you take this TM? I've been really on a roll with it myself. Power Up Punch. Here's Power Up Punch has a base power of 40, right? 
and it gives you an attack boost every time you use it. Oh, shit. It says the more you use it, the tougher your fists get, and your attack will go to the roof. Yeah, it's really fucking good. Okay. So I'm gonna cut this clip short. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm back. My Pokemon got healed up, and um, we're gonna go to the Guru Tower now, or the Mega Evolution Tower, by what people call it. I'm just gonna ride my bike there, because my bike is more consistent. Just go ahead, finish. Oh, well, I was gonna ask when you were cutting, because I wanted to go over to Emily's house. Oh. Shortly. Yeah. Okay, so now. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, let me go back down and check in these rooms. Any items or anything in here? Nope. <clears throat> I like the music that plays in here. It's really good. Nope, nothing in here. <sighs> Man. Do Oh, he gave me the team Low Sweep. What Low Sweep does is a fighting type move and has base power of 65. No, it hits. It, yeah, and you, it automatically decreases your speed by 50%. So, like, if you put that thing on Breloom, oh my god. It becomes so scary. Oh, like on a Pokemon, like, because Breloom has decent speed, but. And speed is not high enough. Okay, I'm actually gonna mega evolve. Be able to mega evolve here soon. And she says, <clears throat> I really love this place. When I'm here with my Pokemon looking at the wide open sky above, all my worries disappear, and I feel like I can do anything. Do you now? Thanks for coming all the way up here. It was decided that this must be the place where the mega ring is handed over. Something about making sure we never forget to set our sights as high as the sky. And here it is, your very own Mega Ring. It's in the shape of a bracelet, so it's super easy to wear. <clears throat> and she put it on. Ragnarok well, equipped the Mega Ring on his left wrist. Give your Pokemon the right Mega Stone and try battling with it. Your Pokemon can surely answer the call of the Mega Ring. Hmm, Lucario, what's wrong? Uh, Gruff. Uh, obviously it wants to... Lucario, are you sure? <laughs> you want to battle alongside that trainer? Well, obviously it's right here. I don't know what to say. I'm a bit shocked that some traveling trainer seems to have a stronger bond with you than I do. Haha, <laughs> well, he must be something special. So what do you say, trainer? Will you and your Lucario battle against me and my Lucario? It will be nothing short of riveting. They both have Lucario Knight in hand. How about we get this show on the road? Yeah. I can feel Lucario's passion. Perhaps it's just that it doesn't want to lose the other Lucario. Or maybe that it's just on the same wavelength, the same wavelength as you. <laughs> Uh. Ready, Lucario? Well, yeah, it's ready. Let's give it all we've got. You're challenged by successor Karina. Well, the Mega Evolution is really good. And it's a remix of the Gym Battle. Which is really fun. Um, Mega Evolve. And I'm going to use Bone Rush. <laughs> I love the Mega Evolution animation too. It's really good. It is really damn good. Yeah. Okay, he's bo Oh, it avoided the attack. Isn't that nice? Dude, that's really messed up. Um, I'm probably going to lose now, but you know what? 
It's actually never happened to me before, me losing and all. But I don't care if I do lose. Just, you know. Yeah, I, I lost, but it's okay because, yeah. It, it doesn't even matter. Cause, just because I missed. Just because I missed. I mean... <laughs> what an explosive battle. I could tell that both Mega Lucario didn't hold anything back. Well, the strong bonds like that, you shouldn't have any trouble triggering your Pokemon's Mega Evolution. I think it would be best if you took that Lucario along with you on your journey. It's quite apparent that you two make a truly incredible team. Lucario is staring intently at Raigai 9. Will you take Lucario with you? Well, yeah. Your party is full. Please choose a Pokemon to send to the PC. Um. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Received Lucario. And it's free. No, I'm not going to give a nickname to it. As long as Pokemon and trainers have the kindness to care for each other and give each other courage, the world will be full of smiles. Okay, I'm going to cut this clip, and I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. And if anyone liked this video, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see all you later. Hey everybody, this is the Titanic Gamer here, and welcome back to my Pokemon X Let's Play. I'm actually glad to be back because I haven't recorded in a few days, and we meet our friend right here. Here, neighbor, you should use this, and she automatically gives us Surf. You don't have to find the HMs in this game. Isn't that just nice? Thank you for that, but yeah, I gotta get on this journey, and I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna um, teach it to my B bell right now because I can. <laughs> yeah, because I already have an HM slave, and it's gonna stay that way. So um, I'm gonna have to give a tackle. Yep. Poof. Bot forgot tackle and learn surf. Isn't that just nice? So now I can continue this journey and get across the water. People aren't really significant, not really gonna say nothing important. Alright, there's honey up there, but I don't need honey, so I'm just gonna fight this trainer. Well, basically, he has a trainer. I mean, he has a Lapras, so like, if you have any room, <laughs> I said fight the trainer, but if you have any room, he'll give you a Lapras, which is... It's actually a pretty decent Pokemon. I think it's underrated too. <clears throat> Has decent stats and um, its move pool is fucking huge. Learns a lot of good moves. And people underestimate it a lot too. I should really get into competitive battles with this game. I know a lot about the game already. And how the game works and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay. So, you know, I'm just going to get in the water now. <laughs> okay, so b bro use Surf. herp a derp herp -a derp Hey, I'm trying to fight you. Stay still. Swimming alone, swimming alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good to know. You are challenged by swimmer Aliciandro. Alessandro sent out Quillfish, a poison water type. Really strong defensive typing, though. Mm, where's it at? Oh, there's the pen. <laughs> um, I'm just going to use Bite because that's like the strongest move I have right now. Just because. And you flinched and you can't move. And you use Toxic Spikes. Uh, that basically means any grounded. Any grounded. Non poison, non steel, and non fool. Well, any basically put any grounded non poison, non steel types in Pokemon out levitate, they're gonna get poisoned. So basically, that's how that works. It's, it's pretty good. It's it's a pretty it's pretty damn good too. It's it's a real good entry hazard. It's real good. Mm. I forgot what move did he use now? Oh, I forgot, but whatever. Goodbye. And I'm gonna go over that Pokemon now because I killed it. 
This is Binacle, the two-handed dual water rock type. It's actually a really good Pokemon for multiple reasons. Um, here are its abilities. Pickpocket basically means that if your Pokemon uses a contact move, a physical move on the other Pokemon, you can steal their their item. Sniper is um, an ability that increases the damage of a critical hit, which is it all depends on what Pokemon you hit, basically. And Tough Claws increases the power of all physical type moves by 33%, which is like a permanent life orb without the recoil <clears throat> on physical moves forever. <clears throat> it's really good. And its typing takes advantage of it fabulously. So here are its stats. Its stats, it looks like it's geared up to be like a, some of a bulky physical attacker. Which is really nice, and the standard, you know, rock and um, water resists. I guess the resist the flying, normal fire and ice are pretty fantastic because, you know, there's some flying types are somewhat uncommon, but you know, and their moves are uncommon too. But it's always nice to have those. And ice and fire type moves are just everywhere. It's always good to have a resist to those. And it learns Shell Smash, which is one of the best boosting moves in the game, and one of the best moves in the game overall. It doubles both attacking stats and your speed at the cost of lowering your defense and your um, your special defense. Um, and it learns all these good moves. It even learns Rock Polish if you just want to like if you don't want the, the defense drops. And it learns Clamp, which it can kind of. Um, be like a somewhat bulky tank if you wanted to. It learns Hone Claws, Razor Shell, Night Slash, and it learns a fighting type move to round out its coverage and a ground type move in Earthquake. I just see it just it learns a ton of good moves. And this thing is amazing. It even learns Shadow Claw for like ghost fighting coverage and it learns Stone Edge which gets stabbed and ugh it's so good. It learns all these good moves. So, yeah, it has good offensive typing, okay defensive typing, and its move pool is it's geared up to be a bulky physical attacker. And if you can get a shell smash up, it's pretty much over. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get back to the game. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to level up my Tyrant because he evolved somewhat late. Okay. Um, just gonna battle these trainers. I grew tired of the city's life and decided to wander the world. I'm not aiming for anything in particular. Oh, I just out to see the world. That's still that's still pretty good if you ask me. Huh? Knock my climax over. <laughs> oh, line noon. At least it's like a boring stop to the typical rodents. It's, this design is pretty good, but that's all. Well, it can it abuse extreme speed, but there are better abusers of extreme speed. <laughs> Lucario. <laughs> okay, so let's just kill this thing and get it over with. Okay, I'm a rock type. I guess I guess rock types that resist normal type moves. Yeah, but I guess that the, the, the um, I'm gonna stop shaking this because I mean I'm gonna have to stop clicking so much because I'm shaking the camera. But yeah, oh I flinched. But yeah, I guess that resist normal types is good or normal type moves because like um. There's just so many normal types that learn normal type moves. They're just, they're everywhere. I suppose I won't find victory in battle either, unless I aim for it. Pretty much. Now you got the idea. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot there's nothing up there. Okay, I'm just gonna. Um, anything down here? Oh, I forgot the freaking repel war off. Well, well, it's okay. Oh, Slowpoke. <clears throat> this Pokemon is actually really good and it's really bulky and <clears throat> its typing is its typing is really good. But you get a weakness to dark and you know, just the fact that like if you try to switch out pursuit is there. Pursuit is like one of the best moves in the game for psychic types. It's just like the number one psychic type counter, pursuit, that one move. Can screw over so many Pokemon. Just oh, war off now. Excuse me, but that one move can just screw up a whole type of Pokemon. And unless you're bulky, which 
considering a lot of psychic types are not bulky on those leftovers. But considering a lot of psychic type Pokemon have low defense, it just it just ravages them completely. You're about to find out just how strong my family is. Well, you're about to find out how strong I am, lady. Oh, she's a breeder, survivor, survivor. <laughs> but anyway, um, leftovers recovers one sixteenth of your health, and it may not sound all that important, but like in a competitive battle, it can turn a one hit KO into a two hit KO, and it can turn like a two hit KO into a three hit KO. It's that significant. Trust me, you can look up any battle on YouTube. And if the Pokemon's bulky or something like that, it will most likely have leftovers. It's like a tanky, bulky variant of something. It'll likely have leftovers, and it's really, really good. Um, I'm gonna switch in my um, I'm gonna switch in my Yamato because I resist poison. Well, I'm immune to poison, actually. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna just shadow sneak and kill it off. I use glare, isn't that nice? It, pre it predicted the switch. Um, can I get a shadow sneak, please? Nice. I can deal with the paralysis. I'm slow as shit already. But as long as I get that hit, then I'll be good. Yamato, Gu Yamato gained 925 experience. Nice. This Yamato is actually going to evolve here soon. It wants to learn Slash. Um, I'm going to keep old moves because... Ghost got just Ghost got a, a nice buff in this generation. It's it's a really good fucking type now. Really good for stall. You can't be trapped by trapping moves, and you can come in and spin block. And um, I don't have anything to hit this with but pursuit. But since I don't want to, no. I really don't feel like going tang. I, don't, I really don't feel like tangoing with this thing. And um, I just want to get my SCP one. My SCP-071, I want to get this level up. Because I don't want to use EXP Share, because EXP Share, like, they buffed EXP Share to be like, it works like EXP um, all, where it gives all your Pokemon experience, but under EXP Share's mechanic of 50. So every single one of your Pokemon get 50 experience, 50% 50 experience, which is freaking, it's just super duper good. So I'm probably going to die, so, um... I'm just going to, like, use Charm, Storing Energy, and a little spit on the screen. So I'm going to use Charm, Lord's Attack, if it wants to use any other type of attack, physical attack anyways. Um, I'm going to switch out to my Yamato, so, because normal type moves don't work on ghost types, they're immune to it. Oh, I forgot. It, um, doesn't it go through by? Uh, whatever. But I, I fucked up. But yeah, it's just <laughs> it's kind of difficult to remember everything. But hey, can't blame us for being human, can you? <laughs> okay. So about six minutes have passed now. It's gonna use body slam. Is it gonna, am I gonna get paralyzed? No, I'm not. Thankfully, you didn't get paralyzed. I'm just going to use Rollout, which, it takes a long time for the move to get dangerous. Yeah, Miltank is one bulky thing. This thing needs to die already. <laughs> Should be about 6.30, 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, ooh, 1,000 experience, nice. Text out of 140. Um, Aqua Ring. Do I want to forget something? Um, I'll, I guess I'll forget Bubble Beam because Bubble Beam, like, I don't. Azumarill does not use special attack. Yep, give me experience. Wow, we lost. It looks like your family was even stronger. Yep, and she gave me over 3,000 bucks. Thank you. And now I'm going to just go over, use this paralyzed heal, and use this soda pop. Yep. I just want to get my SCP-071 to level 30, and then I'll be fine.
Wait a minute, what's back there? Are there some trainers I can fight? Because if so, I'm gonna just stay back there. Oh no, it's a ranch. Oh, look at all the skittos. They're cute. You can actually ride one too, see? Uh. <laughs> oh, aren't they just adorable? Oh, that's why they can't go up here. I found a shiny stone. I, I didn't do this on my, like when I played through the game the first time, I, I didn't do this for some strange reason. What type of drug was I on? Oh, but they are cute. Look how fucking fast they are, though. <laughs> I'm all on the main road. Um, I guess I'll use it. My swamp bug type Pokemon is in tip top shape and buzzing for a battle. Uh, I, I guess bug type is really good defensively because you you do resist some common attacking types. Like you resist. You resist fighting and ground, which is really good. But since a lot of them are paired with the flying type, you just Stealth Rock just kills them. <clears throat> it really does. Stealth Rock just destroys them. It just eats them alive. Now, Bug Poison is good defensively, but you lose that resist to ground, which it, it can be significant, and then it can't. It just depends on the Pokemon. But that weakness to Rock is unfortunate. But hey, I mean, I'll come in with the with the resist to fighting and the resist to ground, just to take a hit and then switch out to something else. Because, you know, Mono Bug types are... We need, mono, we need more Mono Bug types, just simply put. Good ones, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because <laughs> there are a lot of mono bug types that just suck. Moth him. Only if it, like, it does have Quiver Dance, but uh, only if its speed was higher. And it's super effective, and that's going to hurt because Moth him has decent attacking stats, but it's slow. It's slow. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> defeated the youngster. Now you're, now you've really gone and stirred up the hive. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> as I recall, you said you're gonna kick my, well, not kick my butt, but you said your Pokemon were buzzing for a battle, so it's too late to kind of bitch about it now. <laughs> okay. My Tyrant evolves at level 39, as I recall. Hmm. Oh, that's right, I got him. Whatever. What side do I get out on anyway? Whatever, I'm just not going to get out at all. Um. There we go. I like to bury my face in the fur around Tor- Around- I like to bury my, my face in the fur around Tauros' neck and take a big whiff of its scent. It's Jinx. It's a Jinx for a battle, I hear. Whoa. Yeah, you might want to go to the doctor and make sure you're okay. A Zangoose. This ability is pretty unique. Um, If you're poisoned, it boosts your attack stat by 50%. Only if it took, like, less damage from poison. If it took, like, 50% less damage from poison, it'd be super duper good. Embargo. I can't use items. Which, I can deal with that. Not using items. Yep, its speed is decent. Only if its speed was it was at least base 100. If its speed was at least base 100, yeah, it'd be stupid good. Well, it'd be it'd be great. It's good, but you know, a lot of sweepers are overshadowed by better ones with better typings. They use intimidate or well, intimidate. Intimidate's always a good ability. Um, what am I gonna switch into? I'm going to switch into um, my Petty Piranha just because I want to kind of even out the levels in my my party, you know. <clears throat> the opposing Toro used Work Up, which isn't good because if this thing keeps setting up, it's going to eventually just screw me up. Um, 
I'm going to use a Leech Seed. Because I have Violite on this Ivysaur. Or on my Petty Prana, as I should say. I don't understand if you moved before me, but since you moved... Ugh. Well, I understand if you moved after me, but since you moved before me, no. Payback is just going to stay at base 50 power. I just would use the normal type move. <clears throat> and it's going to keep working out. I actually had to get rid of my Halucha so I could get my B barrel. Ow, that hurt. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, stuff happens when I'm recording, so sorry about that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to stay in on this thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go out to my Estelle because I can. <laughs> Estelise, her name is ridiculously long. <clears throat> For anyone who's played the game, they should know. So I'm just taking its health away. I'm just trying to get this thing to use return so I can kill it already. <clears throat> just get out of here. Please die. Ugh. Well, yeah, you are. You technically, you are dead. Yay. And I get a lot of experience. 1,000 experience. 1,000. Ooh, Dragon Tail. This is actually a really nice move because you do damage... And, like, if you're in a Pokemon battle, you do damage and you switch out the Pokemon. In a, in a wild Pokemon battle, it basically ends. Um. <clears throat> oh, crap. Um. Because Rock Tomb is, um. I'll give up Charm, I guess. Because, you know, I can always just. Yeah, Dragon Tail's really good, like. With Stealth Rock, with, like, basically put Entry Hazards with, um, Dragon Tail. Or, like, a phasing move. Any other phasing move. It's really good. Um, no, because growth. It's basically like nasty plot and swords dance in the sun, but other than that, it's like work up. It's like a, a grass type's equivalent of work up when you're not in the sun. I'm gonna cut this clip short. Okay, and I'm back. <laughs> okay, what's down here? Oh, Rock Smash. Yep, I'm going to use Rock Smash. You can find heart skills, fossils, and Pokemon under these rocks. And I found nothing. So what you doing? Fishing is all about catching and releasing. <coughs> or you can keep the fish and eat it. <coughs> Ugh, a Magikarp. And you have six Magikarp, really? You know what I'm going to do. I, like, I'm just going to... Let me cut this clip right now, because I'm not going to sit here and sit fight. I'm not going to have you ladies and gents see me fight six Magikarp. Not at all. Finally, I'm done with that stupid Magikarp. At least he gave me over $2,000. At least. So what's all up there? Oh, I wonder. Let's find out. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a water stone. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Mm, Pokemon. <laughs> of course. What is it? What's it going to be? Aw, oh, Tentacool. Uh, really good Pokemon, actually. It's, it's a really good support based Pokemon. I uh, used Acid. Yeah, but sorry, but I'm a rock type. Sorry, is this poison type. Goodbye. Too bad his defense is just bad. Which is a shame. Um, I'm gonna use a repel because I don't wanna keep running into these random Pokemon. Um there it is. Twenty-eight super repels. That's just cool as hell. Do 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 Azure Bay. I swim all the way here from the oceans of Hoenn, and I'm still not too tired for a battle. Dude, that is fucking. That's a fucking amazing feat. But I wouldn't. No. That's fucking crazy. Doesn't this thing learn Aurora Beam? I'm not sure, but I guess we'll have to find out right now. Um. 
I guess I can use Stealth Rock. Bubble Beam. 50 HP. 29. Okay. Pointed Stones float in the air of the opposing team. I'm gonna use Dragon Tail. Please don't crit me. Please do not crit me. Nice. Didn't crit me. <clears throat> Get out of here. Kill it in one hit. Man, I didn't think it was that frail. Scree. Skrill. So, um. I'm gonna go after. I'm gonna go over it after I kill it. Because I don't wanna use up too much time. Um. I'm just gonna go out to my, um. My Petty Prana and get rid of it. Skrelp. <laughs> uh, camouflage. What are you going to turn into? Water type. That's good for me. Actually, I can just Razor Leaf now. Thank you for making it easy. Nice. Used Acid. I'm Poison Grass type, so nope. Plus Violite. Definitely nope. Okay. When this thing dies, I'm going to get over it and it died. So I'm going to go over it now. This is Skrelp, the Mock Kelp Dual Poison Water Type. It's 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 pretty decent. It's pretty good. It has amazing defensive typing. Okay, now let's get into its abilities. Um, Poison Point is basically an ability that if a Pokemon comes into contact with you, there's a 30% chance that you will poison that Pokemon. And Poison Touch is the opposite. If you come into contact with that Pokemon by using a contact-based move, you have a 30% chance to poison it. And adaptability is really good. Basically, if the type of move you're using is the same type as the Pokemon, instead of it getting a 1.5 bonus or a 50% boost in strength and base power, it doubles. So, yeah, the ability is really good. It gives one speedy special defense EV, which is pretty nice. It's common on those routes. Give you some time to take that in. And all of its stats are really good, really decently well rounded for first for just a first evolution. And water poison type, I mean, what can I say? It resists a lot of common attacking types, and you just resist so much. It's really good. But you get a weakness to ground, which is unfortunate. And you know, it can basically do anything, you know. It's really good at like it's a decent little attacker for a first stage evolution, decent special attacker. You know, it's t its typing is amazing defensively, so you can do a lot of different stuff with it. You know, since poison now does double damage to fairy or does double damage to the new type fairy, yeah, it's really good. And here's some of its moves it can learn. It can learn toxic spikes, which is just amazing by breeding and venom drench is a little nice move <clears throat> what venom drench does is if a pokemon is poisoned and if you use the move on a poisoned pokemon it lowers the attack special attack and speed of the pokemon you used it on so we can force a lot of switches so yeah this thing is pretty decent it has has amazing typing basically and decent stats to abuse that typing so yeah that's about it for Skrelp Okay, I'm back. Now, this is a little Wellmore. Wellmore, not too basic. Only if this thing's defenses were at least, like, base 60. If this defenses were at least base 65, it would actually be very bulky. But hey, I'm not the type to complain too much about it. It's done, and we're all just gonna have to move on. Goodbye, Wellmore. Still don't understand why you can breed a well more a well lord in a skitty. Ugh, I never understand that. Maybe I overestimated your strength. Uh, yeah, you did, <clears throat> and you lost because of it. Mm, I'm gonna switch Pokemon because my SCP-071, no, um, um, the item. I'm gonna move the item, and I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on my Petty Piranha. Because I want the money. And it's already level 30 anyway. <clears throat> want to see some cool water illusions? I'm a pro when it comes to water. Okay, water illusions. I've never seen water illusions before, but... 
I'm not gonna, we're not gonna see water illusions, we're just gonna fight some Pokemon, and it will be a water psychic type, that, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Razor Leaf. The Slowbro has, like, pretty good defense. Uh, Slowpoke use Water Pulse. Don't get confused, don't get confused. Good, you didn't get confused. Yep. Chopping up this meat. Oh, I use confusion. Still don't get confused. Good. Get my pay piranhas level up. So I can give it the Venusaurite when he evolves into Mute Venusaur, and then I can just screw stuff up. You defeated the swimmer. Those are some beautiful moves your Pokemon have. Thank you, lady. I really appreciate that. <sighs> Stupid train. Put all that up there. Okay, I saw a trainer over here. Now that I'm all grown up and finally able to swim, there's nothing out there to frighten me. That's good. You go out on your own adventure in Corsula. I feel Corsula really needed an evolution. Or a mega evolution, at least. And Game Freak didn't give it one. Ugh. Oh, poor Corsula. You'll always be overshadowed by something else. Oh. Okay. You're gonna. Oh, doesn't it have like. Nah, never mind. It has. I think its abilities are hustle and water absorb. What? <laughs> this thing started to annoy me. I hope I kill it soon. Okay, you just hit me two times. So now can you die? Nice. But I mean, oh, poor Corsula. Just why? Why, why not give an evolution? It had so much potential. It had recover, some other good support moves, <clears throat> and I think it need. I think it needed the evolution. Mm, lantern. I'm just going to use Leech Seed on this thing, because this thing has a lot of HP. Oh, I think Lantern... I think this thing should have got another evolution. Because... You know, just like, boosted special attack and special defense, basically put. That's all you gotta do, just boost that. And bam, it's it's better. Like, if, you, if Game Freak could have made it, it's like, if, if they gave an evolution... And they made its um its base um special defense like um um like about base ninety just like a little increase. They made its base defense like base sixty five. They increased its special type to like base ninety five. It would have been a bulky, unique Pokemon. It would have been a bulky, tanky special attacker. It would have been really good. But hey, I guess we gotta live with that, so there's nothing we can do. You know, you actually kind of frightened me. Well, that's too bad. You brought this upon yourself. There's nothing but rocks, rocks, and rocks, and rocks, and ooh, what's this? Well, I found a big pearl. Nice, I can sell it and get a lot of money. Okay, any items over here? Nope. Just nothing but grass and a little island. Da, 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 da. This boundary. Yeah, I'm gonna use another one. Mm, a sky battle. Um, I'm just gonna get out of here. Wait, am I going the right way? Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. That's good. <coughs> I'm just gonna go back on the main road already. Okay, and bam! Camarine City. Holo clip received. Okay, in front of the gym. So, she's basically sent out a challenger to a gym battle or a battle in front of the gym. Great Amphoros in Azure Bay. So, as I recall, there's a lucky egg in here somewhere. There's a lucky egg. Someone gives you a lucky egg. So, Lucky Egg boosts the experience by, a Pokemon's experience by, um, 
50%. So the Pokemon holding um holding the lucky egg will get a lot of experience. And um if you have EXP share on all of the Pokemon in your except for one holding um lucky egg, like the Pokemon holding lucky egg will get full experience. And with EXP share on Everyone can get experience, and he gave me a good rod, or he gives you a good rod, which is nice. Okay, what's going on in Kalos power plant? I heard the electricity for Lumio City is getting lower than usual. So happy, yep. Okay, what's up here? Wow. That's nice to know. So, I'm looking for Lucky Egg. The item, Lucky Egg. Love it when you have something in common with a celebrity. Famous movie star, okay. Like the music, it's really relaxing. You bang up goons, calling themselves Team Flare, and they're causing a bunch of ruckus. What does it say? Bring a Pokemon when you're really friendly with it, and I'll give you something nice. Um. Nice. This is the item I'm looking for. Now, this will make leveling up somewhat easier, but I'm still not going to turn on my EXP share because I just don't want to. Lucky egg. I'm going to give it to, um... I'm honestly going to give it to my Mozilla because my Mozilla, I wanted to level up really quickly. So, what's up here? I'm looking for the O-Power guy, actually. <laughs> Nope, not in here. Is he in here? Well, still let me talk to you. Okay, I'll come back to you. I'll, I'll try to remember it, because I can't remember everything. I have trouble remembering some things. <clears throat> so, let me let me go, um... Just, I gotta go heal my Pokemon, but since there's no Pokemon Center on this side of town... I'm sorry, but... The only Pokemon Center is on the other side of town. Uh, well, hello, Ryguy9. I like the horn music that plays when you meet Professor Skamor. Congratulations! I see you finally obtained everything you need for a Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the Trainer, and a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? <clears throat> it's only a hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and Trainer is the key to this new evolution. But what... <clears throat> is this bond exactly? And why are there examples of Mega Evolution only in the Kalos region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this make you think of something like Kalos' legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else? Maybe that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed! The more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? Oh, that's right. I came here to give you this. <clears throat> and we get fly. We get fly. Use the HM fly to pop right over the Pokemon, right over the Pokemon centers of places you've already visited. Well then, Ryguy9. Diantha. I hope to see you both again soon. You two Professor Skamor. Bonds. They really are important to us all, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is just... If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it, right? But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same kind of people. Or Pokemon. Oh, never mind me. I'm just babbling about my own things. Let's have a battle next time we meet, shall we? I'm still looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to it, but I'm kind of not looking forward to it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm just going to... I don't want to spoil anything. For all those few people who still watch this. Because <laughs> not a lot of people watch these. this type of... Just not a lot of people on my channel watch this type of stuff. Mostly Ultimate Marvel 3 stuff. Someone asked me, like, if I could do, like, a video demonstrating, like, how to do, um, like, Amaterasu's, um, 
counters, like how to confirm off of her counters from Solar Flare. And I'm actually going to be uploading that after this video. So, yeah. When I upload this video, I'm going to make the video on the Matarasu, and then BAM, it'll be done. Okay. What was the O Powers, dude? Hey, okay, O Powers. No. What is it? Befriending Power Level 1. Yep, that's really good, but I don't have internet right now. So, uh, nope, it's not going to work right now. So now I'm going to have to put my B-Barrel in the PC, and I'm going to just, I'm going to put my B-Barrel in the PC. I don't want you seeing this, so let me just cut this clip right now. Now that that's done, we can finally challenge our friend. What's her face? But, um, yeah, I'm not going to say it either. But I'm going to have to cut this clip after, like, I fight her. So, I'm sorry I'm late. So, could you show me Mega Evolution? Of course, whether you use Mega Evolution in battle it, or not is entirely up to you. But, I like to know what the potential of a Pokemon really is. Well, my Ivysaur hasn't evolved yet, which is unfortunate. So, when it does, then I'll show you. But, too bad on Meow Stick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over this, but I'm gonna go over it after I kill it. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Use Fake Out, which is annoying. Um, one interesting thing to note about me Meow Stick is Meow Stick, Meow Stick, or whatever it is, is that, um, the moves it learns is, um, determined by the gender. And this thing is killing my Mozilla right now, so I have to switch out. Um, yeah. I have to switch out. She only has three Pokemon, which is a shame. She should at least have five by now. Light screen. Uh, I don't care. Well, I'm going to use Shadow Sneak because I can. And unlike a lot of other psychic types too, Meow Stick is is actually kind of bulky. So I'm just going to use Shadow Claw now because I don't want this thing to keep hitting my freaking Yamato with his freaking psychic type moves. Ugh. Just be gone. Are you dead? Ugh, so it's kind of bulky too, man. It's, whew, shadow sneak. Okay. Nice. Okay. Getting a boost. So now I'm gonna go over it now. This is Meow Stick, the Constraint Mono Psychic type Pokemon. It evolves from Esper starting at level 25. And depending on the gender will determine some of the abilities and the moves. Now, th these are the abilities for both Pokemon and Kenai. It prevents your accuracy from lowering an Infiltrator, which basically means you can hit through Protect, sub, detect, and all those types of moves. And the female's hidden ability is competitive, which basically, if one of your stats are lowered, it increases your special attack by 50% for the female only. And for the male, it's prankster, which is a really good ability. You get plus one priority on all non-attacking moves, which is huge. It's re that, ba that basically means the Pokemon can use, like, Plus one, well, it gets priority on like a move like Protect. It can use Substitute with plus one priority, and it learns just all these good moves to abuse it with. And, um, you have to evolve this pretty use them. And, um, here are the base stats for this Pokemon. It's, it's, it's stats are pretty well rounded. Too bad it's special attack. If it's special attack was at least base 95, at least, you know, it would help it a lot, but hey. Your standard mono psychic type resists and weaknesses and neutral the neutral damage calcs, you know, just everything's normal. And here's the male here's the male version. Like this is the moves the male learns when they level up and got all these these status moves it learns. It learns all these good status moves to abuse prankster. It's more defensive. Which is really nice. And the female version is, as you can see, it's just all out offensive. 
It's all out offensive. I see a bunch of good moves. Signal beam for all those dark types out there and shadow ball for those ghost types and I just see all out offense. And here are some of the here's the TMs it learns. Calm mind, which can be used for like stored power to help it get those boosts and then just sweep everything. Yep. Yeah. And um, for the mail, I see sleep talk, so you get like priority rest sleep talk, and you can just pretty much annoy the heck out of Pokemon with the male version. With the female version, you can just hit somewhat hard and then just start doing damage. So yeah, it's a pretty versatile Pokemon in my opinion. It's it's really good. It's somewhat bulky, so it can take like a dark type move when it has to, and the male version can just stall the heck out of them. So yeah, this is a pretty good Pokemon. It's really good. Recommended, like if you don't know any other Psychic type Pokemon, or if you already caught it, I'd still recommend him. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's just um, I gotta switch out because I don't want Mike Mayamato dying. Um. I'm going to switch out to Mucha Lucha because it has type advantage over this Absol. And Absol's Mega Evolution is just, oh my gosh, it is, it is highly dangerous. It becomes like a glass cannon. It can just, and its abilities is Magic Bounce, which it prevents most status moves from happening, or most non-attacking moves from happening. It basically, it reverses the effects. Instead of it being used on you, it's used back on them. It reverses the effects. So, not re it doesn't reverse the effects, but it just, it happens to the user instead of the Pokemon. Well, yeah, it happens to the person who used the status move on the Pokemon. Including entry hazards. They get thrown on your team instead of the opposing team. It's really, it's really damn good. And that basically means it's it's stupid hard to paralyze and it's difficult to just slow down. And it's it's really good. So I'm just gonna use Karate Chop. I'm gonna go over Frogadier, Frogadier when I kill it. Oh, killed me. He yeah, special attack is like kind of decent right now. So um, I'm actually gonna bring in my Mozilla and switch out. Which is really good. Get the, get the level up, and then I'm gonna go out to my um my petty piranha, cause I know it can take a hit. There's just no if ands or buts. It's gonna take this hit. Nice. Yeah, you use water pulse. Not gonna do a lot of damage. And now I'm just gonna rape you with razor leaf. And we're just gonna keep using water pulse. Look how annoying little punk you are. Yep, just cut him up and let's get this over with so I can stop recording. <laughs> okay. You know, you're just going to get in a little bit of damage with a quick attack. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, goodbye. The back door is right over there, Sonny. Yep, and now I'm going to go over it, too. This is Frogadier, the bubble frog mono water type. It's it's really good. It's, it's really good. Especially its ability in protein. It's this protein ability is really good. In case like I already explained what torrent protein is, but in case I'll, I'll explain it again. Torrent is basically if your Pokemon gets at 25 health or lower, your water type moves become 50% more powerful. Which is kind of nice if you can keep it at low health and keep it alive. And protein is basically the opposite of um color change. And like, if you use a move, your type changes to the move, the same type of the move before you use it. So you get stab on all like your coverage moves if you like want to sweep with this thing. It's really good too. You always get stab. And as you can see here, it's gear, it's like more geared up to be like a special attacker, a speedy special attacker, and mono water type, you know, resists and stuff like that. And um, its move pool is somewhat expanded. Not too much though, but it does learn a bunch of just good moves and when it evolves again it's it's really good and it learns toxic spikes too, so we can and it learns what we can learn water pledge so yep, that's it for um Frogadier. okay, I'm back, and she says as a Pokemon trainer, I find you really interesting. 
And as a Pokemon trainer, I find you worthy of my time. <laughs> yeah, she gave, ooh, she gave me over 6,000 bunny. Even though we set off from Vanderville town at the same time, you somehow became stronger than I am. What could be so different about us? Well, good luck on your gym battle. Do your best, okay? Well, yeah, I have to heal. But still, the experience is greatly appreciated. And I'm gonna get, um, well, there's Rain Dance over there. Well, not Rain Dance over there, but there's a Sky Plate. And. What are you gonna say? And I'm actually just gonna. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, then I'm gonna sell some of this stuff in my inventory so I can get more money. And then I'm gonna call it, you know, I'm gonna call it quits for this part of the Let's Play. <laughs> so let me go and. Let me go and sell some stuff, okay? So, where is that big pearl? Nice. Okay. So, where is star piece? Nice. Pearl. Um, nice. Um, some stardust. I have nine of these, so... Definitely anything else. Um, nope. So, if anyone liked this video, comment, rate, like, subscribe, favorite. And I'll see all you subscribers later.